um, he has some things to, to tell you about Pan and uh, its contribution to the, to, to the music scene. Just one little tidbit, there is one instrument. It was called Voices of Spring. I think if I remember, it went something like this. outside the box. She had courage to do. It was a moment in which her energy, and she comes from a remarkable family, you know, a remarkable family. Her sister's a wonderful graphic artist. And this, she's always been an inspiration of courage to myself and a number of others. I'm so happy that I'm here and not me of the tree or she of the tree. I said in the living years, I love you. My journeys, my Majumani's, because when I did Majumani in 1972, the following year, I went to Zambia. And my first Majumani was in the Monokushi Hall, Lusaka, Zambia. Students from the workshop of University of Zambia performed Martin Carter's poem, Rurun Rurun. We oh, all those really ugly ones. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, sleep with all of them. I said, what madness is that? He says, not madness. They are the ones that will bring you news and tell you what is going on in the company. And you will know everything happening in every department. <laughs> now that gives you an idea of our culture. <laughs> Another question here. Margaret. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I just like to shy away from it. There's lots of taboos and lots of, you know. And I was just wondering if um, this group of people you talked about who are in Guyana at the moment or, or are looking to go to Guyana are looking to educate other people about mental health. Um, I mean, people tend to say something's wrong and some people tend to say they just want a good lash. <laughs> or, you know, and, and, and all these 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 domestic these domestic violence crimes and suicides they all stem from some sort of like mental you know people are stressed. You know, over here people say you know who, who, who is stressed. But they, since like I said, since coming to live here, there there are lots of things that my eyes have been opened to, and there are lots of things that are going on back home that people are not addressing. They're not admitting to certain things. And so I just wondered, with all this money that we're hoping to get from the oil, you know, education is, is very important because how many people need to be educated about certain things? So I was just wondering if some of the money could possibly be put into educating people about things like mental health and also, um, also training people. You invented it's called the Oprah fan. Have you got a name for the for the other fan? <laughs> this is chrome, chrome plated or nickel plated. It's the original design by the guy's name that I mentioned earlier, Mr. Dan Sanford. And it's called the Invaders style of fan. That's all I remember as a teenager. But because I had 
so-called invented my part of the silver and named it the Auburn part. I gave it to them. But the part before, the that I actually played in the, the shiny nails. But, you know, I, I get the same emails coming from left, right, and center. Thank you. Um, I'll just a quick statement and then I'll, I've got a question for Doris because I don't want Doris to feel that you know we didn't appreciate what we, what we did. Right. Right. Um, the statement was really, I, I, I kind of had an antenna about the, um, the CCTV cameras in Guyana and I was wondering about, I mean, that this is not for you to necessarily answer, just kind of a statement and something for us to think about, um, whether that is really actually dealing with the problem or whether because I know there's a parking meters in Basel that's also going on in Guyana, and there's contractual issues that we know that's also going on there. And I was just wondering what the nature of all of that, that decision making about putting um, the CCTV. No, I'm sure when I was a youngster, long time ago, my aunt was head of nurses in the of term, and I'm sure some people will remember that name, head of her visitors. It was then called the Ministry of Health in Vietnam. Then I think it changed to medical department. What I'd like to know, those health visitors, were they involved in mental health or just physical health in postnatal or what? Do you know that? You don't. Doris? Same as, as your senior citizen. Okay, thank you. Answer that. Okay, so with that, folks, I see everyone's getting a little restless. Thank you for coming this afternoon. We will be doing this again next month. And take a look at the rest of the year. It's posted up on the show. Thank you. It was a pleasant afternoon, a revealing afternoon, and I was quite happy with all the presentations and I hope that we continue do, can continue continue doing things like this again in the future. Known as a as a as a youngster, she was a good friend of my mother. It was amazing to see how young and sprightly she was. I was very impressed with what she had to say. So yes, it was a, a very enlightening afternoon. I realized that there was something like this going on and I'll try and make the point of coming next time. I think it went very well. The speakers spoke their mind and gave us a piece of their personality. And that's what it's all about. Diana speaks. How do you think it went? I think it went very well. It covered a lot of interesting topics. It's just touching it, mind you, because some of them are a lot more in depth than they could have dealt with here. For example, the business of suicide, that's a very complex issue. And it is, it's not only mental health or um, financial, there is religion and a lot of other things that contribute to it. Very well indeed. Oh, no, this lady just wanted something Well, very, very well. Lots of information about Guyana. Very interesting. <laughs> very good. Informative. Right, I look forward to the next one. Well, we have.
have a minister responsible for social cohesion, which involves inclusion. And she's doing a lot of work in bringing everyone into the decision-making process. And so is the government.